Look, Melissa was always going to be a serious late October hurricane. Climate change has amplified those impacts and the potential for damages. First off, let's talk about how we got here. Melissa spent the weekend sluggishly crawling over excessively hot October Caribbean waters, running 2.5 degrees Fahrenheit higher than typical for this time of the year. Upper-level winds initially kept the storm's intensity in check while it was still a tropical storm. But once those winds calmed, Melissa monopolized on the waters and fast. Between October 25th and 26th, the storm underwent extreme rapid intensification, a process that's becoming more common as our climate warms. It gained 70 miles per hour in just 24 hours, jumping to a major Category 4 hurricane. And then it happened again. Between the 26th and 27th, Melissa rapidly intensified another 35 miles per hour in just 24 hours, reaching Category 5 and the top of the hurricane scale. That excessive ocean warmth that rocketed Melissa's explosive strengthening? Climate change made it at least 500 to 700 times more likely along the storm's track in the basin at this time in late October. Using attribution science, we know that the added ocean warmth boosted Melissa's top winds by about 10 miles per hour. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it's enough to push it to a Category 5 territory, but then also increase its potential damages by up to 50%. Now the other major concern, rainfall totals that are measured in feet, not inches. Jamaica's expected to see 20 to 30 inches of rain, two and a half feet or more fresh water that's falling on mountainous terrain on the island. In our warming world, the atmosphere holds more moisture. Warmer oceans mean more evaporation, which hurricanes absorb and then unleash as heavier rainfall and more severe flooding at landfall. Recent research shows tropical cyclone rainfall rates are increasing by more than 1% per year and are expected to continue to climb higher with continued warming. If you need the latest forecasts and advisories on this storm, check the National Hurricane Center's website. And to see how human-caused climate change is making all of Melissa's dangers worse, they're up for you right now at climatecentral.org.